Okay, quick video on how to set up a warning for your low battery on your quad. Uh, the first thing we want to do is just check to see where that information is coming from. So we can select the quad, um, make sure your quad's plugged in obviously, uh, I've got a little whoop here, uh, and then we go to telemetry, the very last option, and we check down here um, where the voltage is coming from. So the voltage is coming from A1. If none of this is displaying, select discover new sensors and it will do a refresh here. So we're looking for A1. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to uh, add that to a widget and we're going to do that quickly now just for reference. So I've just gone, I should, should actually talk through what I'm doing. I've gone to the third icon here um, and I'm tapping one because it's our first widget screen. I'll set up widgets. Uh, and it's giving me this box. I'm not going to configure it any differently. I've already covered that off. Uh, we're going to select value uh, and then in the source we're looking for A1 and I might skip this because it takes forever to get to A1. Okay so right down the very end of the menu we have A1 as opposed to minus or plus. We'll select that and then we'll just exit out, uh, exit again and exit again and that will take us, oops, there we go. So we've got four volts there, um, a read on the battery there. Just very quickly on the on widgets, one thing I haven't really covered in the past is we can actually set up a second widget screen. I'll just add a main view there and I'll set up a widget and for this I'm just going to show, let's say, model bid map. So we've got the Project Mockingbird um, icon there. And if I exit out of this, just so you know what that 123 does, I can actually swipe left and right so I can have multiple uh, screens there as well. So now that we know what our value is and we've got it displayed there for reference, let's go into the quad settings and we'll move all the way across to our uh, logical switches. Here we go. And now I've set this up. Uh, so I'm just going to pop it open and show you what I've done here. So I'm going to edit, but you can create a new one by tapping anywhere. Uh, so I have as function A is less than X. Uh, as the value 1 or the V1, uh, I have that value, which is A1, uh, which is the source of the battery. Um, information and V2 I've set to 3.3 volts. I might bump that up to say 3.5 just so I can get the battery down quicker um, and I'll leave it at that. It's as simple as that. So that's our logical switch. So I'll go back um, and then I'll switch uh, one to the right in special functions. Again what I've done here is I've got two sounds that play. The first is a value. So I'll edit this, so switch L01, so when logical switch 1 occurs, when the event that's defined by logical switch 1 occurs, the function is to play the value, and the value is A1. I'm just going to set that to repeat once. Um, so effectively, uh, when we drop beneath, I think it was 3.5, I just set it, it should play the value 3.5, or whatever the voltage is. Uh, if I go to special function 2, and select that, all I'm doing here is saying, as well as telling me the voltage, also play the track danger. So it's simply going to say danger. I should be able to trigger that. Oh, maybe not. Um, so it's going to say danger after the voltage. Uh, I assume that if I flip those the other way around, it'll say danger first, which is more logical. Um, but that's it. So now I'm going to try and deplete the battery and, and see what happens. So I'll move back out. Okay, so I've run the battery down a little bit. Uh, I should be able to, to drop that down to about 3.5 when it powers up. One thing to note is um, it actually typically reads out the, the voltage 0.1 decimal after. So if I set it to 3.5, it typically reads it at 3.4. Bear that in mind. So I'm going to power this up. Maybe get a little, give a little bit of gas. And there you goes. So as you heard, 3.4 volts and danger. And that's it. That's how you set up your low voltage battery warning.